everybody, Mike here from Bush Green. How's everybody doing today? I guess you're wondering uh, why I'm sitting here in the garage beside this box. Well, this is my uh, next exciting project. So, stay tuned. Can you guess what's in this box? I'm back. So, did any of you guess what was in the box? Right here, we have a new addition to the uh, Bush Green family. It is the Super Jack from Ballard Products. So, some of you might be familiar with it, some of you might not be. I will show you what it's for. I'm sure many of you, uh, you know, well, obviously we all change our blades on our on our lawnmowers and uh, like to clean up under the deck. We all have different ways of uh, lifting up our mowers, right? Some people might uh, just use a car jack. Others might have a chain hoist in their garage. Um, I don't know, whatever way, uh, putting it up on your on your trailer ramp on the side and uh, crawling up underneath. So anyway, uh, this uh, Super Jack from Ballard Products, uh, it's supposed to be uh, an easy solution to lift up your mower to change your blades and uh, clean out your deck. So anyway, I'm going to have a go with it here and just show you. So I'm going to start off with the uh, 36 inch that's behind me and then the uh, 52 inch stand on. And then in the backyard, I have the 60 inch Z930. John Deere uh, zero turn. So I'm starting at the smallest machine to the biggest, heaviest machine. All right, here we go. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move you guys just over here. Just like that. I made it look easy. Uh, there is a little bit of technique. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you right now. Uh, this is the second time that I did it. I did uh, try it on all the machines before I started shooting this video. Because I just wanted to see how hard it really is or easy. So it is fairly easy with the 36 because it is a lot lighter uh, with the machine. But there is a bit of technique with it with your uh, footing. So I'll show with the 52 now. All right. Okay, so what you want to do, these hooks right here, you want to get underneath the uh, the deck of the mower and uh, lift it up. Over here. Okay, right here, it's a bit of a pad right here for your foot. One thing that I see right now already uh, doing this for two, three, four, this is my fifth time now using it, lifting this machine. Um, this foot pedal, might be better if it was angled a little bit more higher because it's kind of angled down here. So you're stepping on, on pretty much uh, up here with your foot like this rather than your foot like that. So you'll see how I do it. So basically you push in with your foot and uh, lift up with the handle here. So as you can see, my, I can't put my foot like that. I'm going to rip a muscle out of my leg there. So just like that. Push in. So obviously this one's a little heavier, and I did struggle a little bit with it. Now, 
I don't know if this will change if I'm on different ground, but right now, this jack wants to come up on me and, and the mower wants to come down, slamming down. So, see, it's coming up. I don't know if you see that now. I'm just slightly letting go here and see the mower's coming down. So that's a big safety concern right there with me. So there's another thing I, I don't like about this jack, but I still do like that it jacks up the mower pretty easy like that. So I might have to put wheel chocks maybe behind those wheels or have somebody stand on this handle here while I get under there. But uh, definitely like right now, see the way this is going right now, not stable at all. There's no way I'll put my body under that. So let's put this down now. See it slowly, there we go. Okay, there's two negatives I found already. Okay, so anyway, I will be right back. We're just gonna go right back and we're gonna try this on the 60 inch zero turn. All right, so I'm back again. Okay, we're uh, back now where my uh, Z930M uh, 60 inch John Deere is. And uh, obviously this is the heaviest machine out of uh, all three that I have. And uh, yeah, it, it is a little harder to lift up, but it does work. So let's have a go at it. Again, this jack wants to come up on me and the mower wants to come down. I can't let go of this thing without the mower coming down. So I don't understand what's going on because I see other people using these and uh, that doesn't happen. Let me try again. See, this is rolling slowly right now. See, I gotta hold on to this because it's gonna come slamming down. Okay, let's bring it down. We'll bring it down again. I wonder if it's the mulch on demand underneath that is getting in the way. And I hope I didn't bend it with this product. I hope not. Let's try this again. Okay, I just want to see something first here. Okay, the mulch on demand seems to be uh, still working straight. I have it open right now. I just want to see if there's a difference. Okay. I'm going to try this now with the mulch on demand open. So all the baffles are open. Okay. Still, it wants to come down. It's not grabbing. So far, I'm not happy with this. Let's try uh, another spot here. Also, what I want to add to this is in the widest position. That, uh, I don't know if you can see that. These two arms here are in the widest position that you can have for this. Now, it does go in more. You can curve them in too, but this is absolutely the widest one. This thing does not want to hold this machine up. See, it keeps on coming down. Okay, right there. Wow, this arm's starting to come loose already too. And I did tighten everything, look at that. So that part's not moving there, this arm is moving. Let's put this down again. Wow. I paid a lot of money for this thing. Anyway, I'm going to try something. I'm going to be right back, okay? 
Okay, everybody, we're back. After uh, spending about 10 minutes trying different angles and scratching out my mower deck, I uh, kind of figured out the best spot where to put those arms in. Okay, so I had to mark the deck too. I put a piece of black tape on, which I'll show you after I lift it, just so I know exactly the edge where to put the, uh, the, uh, the arm for the uh, jack, because there's only one spot you can put it on this machine. Uh, all the other spots, you start bending the baffles underneath, not good. Here we go. Here we go. So it's holding right now. So here we are. So what I had to do, you can see this black tape right here. I had to mark it. Actually, uh, the edge of this is supposed to be there. Okay, it still worked there, but it's really close. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, sorry, the camera was a little off there. So the edge, I, I had to put tape there just so I know. Let's go underneath and I'll show you. So obviously the 36 and the 52 inch stand on was uh, very easy to lift up. Uh, 36 so far passed with flying colors. Uh, the 52, the stand would not stay up. It would want to come down. So now after uh, trial and error, this jack does not want to come up, which is good. And I feel safe enough anyway to go underneath here, but I'm not going underneath right now. I'm just going to stick my camera under. But uh, yeah, if I am changing any blades or anything, it doesn't matter what size machine you always put jack stands under here too just in case for your safety so anyway as you can see under here some baffles here you can see where that jack is going in right there so here I gotta lay down here so if you go uh, any farther here this way then you're hitting this thing right here and if you go too far here the other side will not click into anything as you can see so we'll go to the other side too in a second and I'll show you. So it's tight anyway. Oh yeah, let's go to the other side. Oh, another thing here too. Uh, I'll, I'll give a plus right now because I gave a couple negatives already. Uh, these tires are airless tires. That's a big plus right there. I like that. All right, let's get our cushion here. Let's get underneath here. Okay. So. So you can see the jack in there. So you see how close it is to the edge right there. So any farther that way. So like I said, on the other side, if I go any more to the right, going away from us right now, this side would not work. And that's what the problem was before. Now, I got some room right here. Now, if I go closer this way and bring it over here, this one, then that other arm, there's other obstacles in the way there too. So, so this position seems to work. So I'm sure I'll get used to it. Uh, it's trial and error, like anything, you know. Play around. So, yeah. Okay. So, just wanted to show you too with the jack here. I'm gonna shake the machine here. They, they do this in one of their videos, and uh, I don't think I'd want to shake it any harder than that. But I'm pretty sure if I push hard enough back, the brake is on. Um, it probably would come up uh, down. And this jack come up but right now it's pretty safe so another thing i noticed too so we got another negative with this jack since i have it right here uh doesn't matter how tight i put these bolts and there are uh, locking nuts that come with it which i have on there sorry lock washers and then nuts i put it as tight as i could it would not turn anymore but these arms are bending see how close that is to the wheel Probably touching the wheel there. Oh, well, it's damn well close, anyway. Uh, you can see on the bottom there, the space there, so that's the amount of space. It should be at the top, it's because this bar is bent right now, and uh, those bolts get loose. So same thing happening here slowly, so the gap's a little bit bigger at the top there, and bigger on the bottom there. So, yeah, those arms move. So I don't know if that's a flaw or what, but for the amount of money you pay for these things, 
it's crazy, especially, especially for me and being in Canada and this coming from the States, which uh, we'll get into later. Okay, so let's get this down. We are, we're back in the garage now. Um, I just wanted to show you again, remember what I talked about, how the uh, arm is kind of bending outwards towards the wheel. So I don't know if you can see that, maybe that angle right there. So you see the bottom of the wheel to the frame and then the top there, see how very close it is. So anyway, um, what they do have here, as you can see, there's an adjustment. So with this bolt right here, you can see the uh, little bit of a slot there that this can be moved inwards. So this arm can be curved inwards. So you can see. So I have it all the way to the outside, but uh, I did do it flush with, uh, with the edge of the uh, framing here. All right, so here's the framing here, but it seems to be going over. So you can see right there, it's going over and you see how close that is to the wheel right now. So I don't know if that's uh, just a design flaw, or I got a bad one. I don't know, who knows. Okay, and another thing I noticed too, just from tilting this, this should have came with uh, a bigger washer to go around here, this is kind of sketchy. Yeah, the bolt is uh, holding on a little bit there, but, it's pretty close. So it did come with one large washer, which I was surprised, right? Because of this. And the one large washer is right there. As you can see under this nut there, the large washer. Only a lock washer there underneath. And then this one here should have a large washer, I think. Anyway. Oh my, I'm not a, I'm not a fabricator. I didn't design this, so. So yeah, so it takes a beating anyway. I only used it, what? I lifted each machine two times today, so six times. No, actually, the, the zero turn, sorry, if a few more times uh, trying to figure it out. But yeah, it does get scratched up. But it is a tool. It'll get scratched up. So yeah. And I already talked about this step right here. I think it should be curved a little bit more up, just a little bit more. So yeah, you can see here with the wheels now. See how that arm is going out and yeah. Oh boy, all right. Okay, so uh, went through a few things there. I showed you uh, how to lift up machines there. Am I out of breath doing it? Oh yeah. It's not as easy as uh, as they show you on, on the website, you know, to do it. Well, they've done it so many times and they know exactly where to uh, position the arms and everything. I thought about maybe putting the arms in more, but then um, it will not work on the, uh, I think it was a 52, the, the way the wheels are. So uh, the way I have it right now, uh, all the way to the outside, uh, it will lift up each machine. Uh, the 36, I gotta kinda do it from the side. I can't go straight in, so I kinda go uh, looking at the machine to the left side, over a bit and under, and grab it and bring it up. But that machine's, uh, yeah, no problem. Lifting up, I, I feel safe doing that. The 52, it would not hold there on the driveway, so. I don't know. I, I have to try it on. Uh, I want to try it on grass too because uh, when I clean under the decks and stuff, see if it'll work there. It might be more stable there. You know, the wheels might give into the uh, into the ground more there. And then you've seen with the 60 inch Z930, um, um, I was surprised that you know I'm struggling with it. Um, I'm just concerned. I don't. I don't want to bend the baffles underneath. You know, I have mulch on demand. Um, yeah, I guess only time will tell, right? So like with any new product, you know, you have to use it for a little bit to, to give a, a formal review. <laughs> I, I don't give reviews, I'm just showing you what I'm going through with, with a... So anyway, uh, it's just my experience, okay? This isn't, I'm not doing a review or anything. I'm just showing you, I got this thing. I just put it together and I'm just using it today for the first time. And what I see, what I like, what I don't like, 
I like the color. Oh, one other thing. Another positive, because I like this. I got a sticker. Now, do I want to stick this on my mirror? Hmm. Anyway, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, this is just my opinions. Uh, it's just my experience. Uh, and I just wanted to share it with everybody. Okay, so only time will tell. Like I told you, I'm going to continue using this. Uh, got to change uh, blades out and, and stuff. And yeah, and we'll, we'll see. Maybe a month from now or so, I'll do another quick video. Well, I always say I'm doing a quick video and it ends up being a, a 20 minute video. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So anyway, I uh, hope everybody's, uh, everybody's doing good. It's a beautiful day today. It's Sunday. And uh, be nice to everyone. Do something nice for someone. And uh, be safe. Okay? Peace, everyone.